Hi, welcome. Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today I have a really fun craft to show you. We are going to be making some gorgeous flameless candles, and I'm doing a napkin decoupage onto them. This is a really simple process, and if you haven't done this type of craft before, it's okay because I'm gonna walk you through all the steps, and this is a really good beginner-friendly craft. You're gonna start with a plain flameless candle, and I'm seeing these discounted at all the stores right now because of the holidays. And we're going to add to that a napkin using our Mod Podge satin. Now you could use gloss or matte for this as well. I'm gonna show you how you can peel this napkin apart. We're only gonna be using the top printed ply. And once it's dried and put on there, I wanna add some bling. So we're gonna use some of these micro gems and everybody's always asking me what that pencil is I'm using. It's a wax pencil. These are from the office supply store. And while it's drying, I just wanna share with you my tip of how I use dried beans to balance curved objects while they are drying. So you can see I'll have it right in there and we can do our work on there. But I'll get into all of that when we're in the making. So what do you say, shall we get making? So for this project, I'm using flameless candles. These have a wax coating on the outside and you just use them with a battery. I'm going to use Mod Podge in satin. Of course, you could use gloss or matte as well. For the napkin, we're only going to be working with the top printed ply. So you're gonna to wanna to separate all of the white plies and just keep the printed portion. Then I like to just sort of roll it around my candle and figure out the size that I wanna cut my napkin. Don't worry about the top. You can leave a little extra at the top and the bottom because we're gonna trim that away. Next, I'm just going to apply the Mod Podge directly to my candle surface. I like to spritz my napkin with a little bit of tap water. This will help with the wrinkles. Then you're just going to place your napkin onto the candle and then use your fingers to gently press down and smooth out any wrinkles. You do have to do this in sort of two parts. I put the napkin down, then I pick up my candle and I begin to add more Mod Podge and wrap the napkin all the way around until the two seams meet up. If you have a little extra, don't worry, you can just trim it away. Once you get to that back seam, you'll just add a little bit more Mod Podge to seal it up. And then on the top, you can use scissors to trim away any extra on the top. I usually wait until my napkin is pretty dry before I do this. And for the bottom, you can trim away and then just wrap any bit of that little extra over to the back side. Just make sure you're not covering up the battery case. Once the napkins are dry, you can add some bling to your designs. So I'm gonna use these beans, just some dried beans, to balance my round object in, and that will help us to balance it while we are gluing down the gems. For the gems, I'm just using a little bit of the same Mod Podge formula and that wax pencil to pick up my gems. You can create any design that you want. A good tip is just to follow the design that's on the napkin and fill in the different points that you want to highlight. Okay, let's add our batteries and see how cute this looks lit up. All 
All right, thanks for joining me today. I hope that this inspired you to look at those paper napkins a little bit differently. Have a great crafty week. Make sure you use those hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Craft so everybody at Plaid can see what you're making. I'll be back here next week with another fun craft for you. Bye.